Hey guys, for people who are a fan of trade skills, here's my tip on how to utilize your platinum tickets to its full potential. I don't do this much anymore, but I have done this during my newbie days to get some extra gold in my pocket. Your requirements are Platinum ticket You have a random chance to receive a platinum ticket during any of your trade skills. You also need a level 30 for aging because you need the golden finger skill. Minimum purple tools that has super armor effect and a fast character. Gunslinger or Dada is a good choice. You can find the platinum field entrance in any major city. You will need to enter the Runart Menor, which focuses on foraging, logging, and mining. You have to enter this solo. When you enter, you will see a bunch of trade skill materials around the map. In the waiting room, you will see a series of icons on the top left UI. Your goal is to deliver any of the marked goods to the NPC to receive various buffs. Returning all four will let you access the cave. If you unlock the cave, every single goods respawn. So you utilize foraging and fast movements to gather everything, reset, then repeat. So now I will show you a full run step by step with commentary. First, as soon as you get in, you need to open the map and find the important materials. So the materials NA server names are White Hydrangea, I'm gonna try and deposit, and Noble Cypress. So you use the search function in the map to find where it is. And you do this before the gate opens because you need to find the closer ones first. After searching it up, I proceed to forage it, mine it, or lock it, and get the first buff. The first buff gives you gather speed, and the second buff lowers your chance to lose durability on your tools. My goal is to get the second buff as fast as I can, so as you notice here while I'm lodging, I'm also searching for where the next ones are just in case I don't get this. But I got lucky here and I got the second buff. After returning the second material for the second buff, you need to proceed to collect all the foragings. And as you notice here, the reason why you need level 30 foraging is because you get this buff called Golden Finger. It increases the speed of your gathering so much that you can actually collect everything here. Also while you're collecting, you'll notice buff materials show up as well. You will need to return total 2 of these after you collect everything around the map. So after my first clear, I got kind of unlucky and couldn't find anything. So I had to go back and return one of the ones I found a little far away. Also, make sure you don't get hit too many times because you're going to drop it as well. I couldn't show you an example here, but if you have two materials, you can utilize this boat to carry both of them at once. As you notice, I've been unlucky and I dropped it once, so after I return the last buff, you usually have around 8 minutes, but I have 5 minutes left, so let's see if I can actually clear everything here. So if you're in an unlucky situation like me here, you can probably go inside the cave when you have 2 minutes left to make sure to clear out all the important materials first because they're all purple in here. So I actually get to manage foraging most of the stuff after the reset due to having a relic tool so that's pretty cool. And when you're done you can open the extra bags as well. And as for the gold, I think you make about 3000 to 4000 gold per run. So if you guys have a high level foraging skill with a platinum ticket, this is definitely a good way to make some extra gold. Hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.